Hey, eighth graders. I just wanted to go through really quick the 1.6 Amplify lesson. Um, we did the Activity 2 modeling tool as a quiz. So if you haven't done that already, it's as a zero in the grade book. Um, it's too late to do it now, but I just wanted to go through it so you guys know um, maybe why you got the grade you got or if you guys were just confused on what you were doing and we need to clarify because you will have more quizzes like this. So if you understand what happens in this first quiz, the other one should be a lot easier. Okay, so with that being said, you guys had two parts, part two and part three, to model our claims one and two. So let's go ahead and take a look at claim one. So claim one tells us basically that we had thrusters that were overactive. Okay, they gave us too much thruster force, and that caused our pod, instead of stopping, to just turn around and move in the opposite direction. So I'm going to do a little example for you guys to explain to you guys what a real pod should look like. Okay, and you guys can see the model of what that pod should look like right at the top here. So you guys shouldn't have done anything with that model. All right, so let's take for a second and pretend that my head is the space station that the pod is supposed to dock with, and my mouse is the pod. So normally the pod would be moving towards the space station, okay? And then what happens is as it gets really close to the space station, it's still gonna keep moving because it's in outer space. There's not a whole lot of friction. There's nothing really slowing it down. We want something to slow it down so it doesn't just collide with the space station. So we have these thrusters. Our direction is this way. So our thrusters are gonna move in an opposite direction. So basically we would have thrusters coming out of this side of our pod that try to move our space station in the opposite direction. If we have it coming in at a medium velocity, we want a medium force from the thrusters to kind of cancel out that velocity. And when that thruster force it, uh, applies a force to our pod, it's gonna cause our pod to stop, which allows it to dock with our space station, okay? So with that being said, you guys can see that in the model here. Okay, so here you have your velocity is a medium velocity of your object, which is your A object, and it's moving to the right. Therefore, we would need a medium force moving to the left to stop it and kind of cancel it out. You guys can see that after that thruster puts a force on the pod, there's no more velocity to this thing. That's what we want to see. This is most ACM pods. Again, you guys should not have done anything with this top column. I did see some people kind of change things up. It's an example. It gives, it gives you guys what it should look like. All right, if you were to look in the instructions and say, all right, model the thruster force that would cause the pod to move in the opposite direction. Okay, that's claim one. Claim one states that, you know, instead of giving a medium force, it gave a higher than normal force. Okay, so we would need an object and we would wanna show a higher than normal force, okay? So instead of canceling out our velocity, it's going to be too large and it's actually gonna cancel out our velocity and then add a velocity in the opposite direction. So we would have a model that would look like this, okay? Where we have a larger than normal force, which not only stops the pod, but also causes it to move in the opposite direction. So if we have a medium velocity here, we apply in the opposite direction a large force, that leaves us with a small velocity going in the opposite direction. Okay, I graded this um, when looking at your size of your force and the direction of your force. So your force should have been opposite the motion of the pod. Okay, and then I also graded you guys on the velocity. Was your velocity um, going in the correct way? Okay, so moving away from the space station, if our space station were over here, and is it a small velocity? Okay, so that was modeling tool number one, or excuse me, the first one, based on claim number one. Okay, again, claim number one has us doing an overactive thruster that moves us in the opposite direction. Okay, then on claim number two, same thing, you guys have this first row up here that shows us what normal pods should look like. You guys have the medium speed of the pod moving to the right. Therefore, you guys have a medium force moving to the left to cancel it out, stopping our pod and allowing it to dock. Again, I can't overemphasize this enough, especially with claim two, that this is just the force from the thrusters. We haven't had any collisions yet. We haven't talked about collisions. We're strictly looking at how much force the thrusters put on that pod. Okay, so in this case, we have our pod coming in with a medium speed. Okay, but in claim two, it says that our thrusters don't really work as great. Okay, so they work less than this. They're still going to be in opposite direction, but we're going to use a small arrow for our force here. So our pod is moving with a medium speed to the right, but our thrusters only fired with a small force to the left, meaning that our pod 
kept moving. It slowed it down a little bit, but it wasn't enough of a force to stop it or move it in the other di direction, okay? What eventually would happen then if this pod kept moving is eventually it would hit the space station and bounce off. But we haven't talked about that collision yet. We were strictly modeling the force. So again, I graded this on the scale that you guys use the correct direction and size force here and the correct direction and size of your velocity here. So it should be small opposite force and then a small velocity to your right. Okay, uh, that was graded on a four, three, two, one scale. So if you got everything perfect, you got a four out of four. If you made one or two mistakes, like maybe you guys put your velocity on this side instead. Okay, you guys got a three. If you made more than two mistakes, you got a two. And if you just did an incomplete model, maybe you didn't turn and claim two or whatever the case, or you didn't have any arrows at all down here or any objects, you guys got a one on that. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, and I hope that clarifies this modeling tool. So when we approach the next one over the next little, um, part of our unit, you guys have a better understanding of what's happening in the first place. I hope you're all having a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.